I want to be in one of those over there. <laughs> yeah, it's just a waste of time, man. Dude, don't ruin this for me. You want to be in the Kai Zappas? We have to be cool. Hello! <laughs> 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 oh, good seeing new boys out here. How you doing? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Good to see you, man. Great. You yeah, great to be hey, here. Good. No. You're one of that monster slime or sloppy milk steak. Man, girls like that don't like guys like me, you know? They're like, they're like dirtier girls, dude. <laughs> Buddy. I guess you have to make them like you. Dude, can you believe that right now? That was Kane, man. Fuck it, man. I'm out of here. What the fuck, dude? Wait up. What the hell was that all about, man? I know that shit doesn't matter to you, but it matters a lot to me. Hey. Hey. Dude, what's up with you? Hey, Funk. I think you got something that doesn't belong to you. Close another case today. Guy really had it coming. Harvey Man P.I. What's the address? Three days ago.
ago, we reported the mysterious and sudden disappearance of college students Jim Crenshaw and Abel Williams. Today, at 7.30 a.m., Crenshaw was found unconscious on the front lawn of 25 Spruce Street, the residence of Janet and Joe Williams, Abel's parents. When questioned by police onto the whereabouts of his friends, Crenshaw only had three words to say. I wouldn't blame you if you did. Oh, Detective Man. Please, call me Harvey. So tell me, Miss Williams, when was the last time you saw your son? Well, he texted me. And he said that he and Jim, they were going to be coming and they were planning to crash for the night here. Um, did Jim say anything about that night? Anything at all? The last thing he remembers is that they were heading to their frat party. I just don't know where he could have gone. He's convinced that they were abducted. And the last thing he remembers is... Table on some cold looking table in like an operating room setting of some kind. And where is Jim now? He's in a holding area at the local PD. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that they haven't tried to throw him in the psych ward at the local hospital yet. Why is that? He claims profusely that this is aliens, aliens that abducted them. Did Jim and Abel have any bad blood that you know of? Oh no. He and Abel were the best of friends from the time they were babies. If it wasn't for those darn drugs and that partying and all, I would truly, truly believe the whole story. Um, what what drugs did they find? We're still waiting for those toxicology reports. They seem to take a while. The police have been so secretive about it. I don't understand it. I'm his mother. That's why I called you. Well, you have my number. If you need anything at all, just just give me a call. Detective man, please find my son. He's a good boy. Please. Fuck, man. I think he's a cop. Fuck, hide that shit, man. Hey there. I'm Detective Man. I need to come in and ask you guys a few questions. Yeah. Sorry, but it's only Kai Zappa Land members in here and friends of Kai Zappa Land members. <laughs> It's a good thing we're friends then, isn't it? Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Seth, Seth, come on, get the man a drink. Come on. Um, 
It's like, what? what's the issue? Investigating a missing persons case. Have either of you seen anything strange lately? Don't mind him, he's just fucking depressed. Listen. I know you guys are doing drugs in here. And quite frankly, I don't give a shit. So stop looking at me like I'm gonna fucking kill ya. Now what do you know about the disappearance of Abel Williams? I know nothing, man. I heard about that. It's a real tragedy. He was at a Kai Zappa party two nights ago. You didn't see anything abnormal. No, nothing. Jim Crenshaw, he was there too. And you didn't see either of them doing drugs. Nothing. Uh, listen, man, I'm, I'm on the Dean's list. I don't want any trouble. I saw him at the party. I gave him a chance to join us, and that's it. He's not my problem anymore. Well, if you remember anything, give me a call. I saw something. I didn't want to say it in front of the other guys. I, I saw something. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. But up in the sky, I saw like a light. You probably think I'm crazy, but you're right. Please, no. Please, you have to believe me. I'm trying to find a missing person here. I don't have time for your fucking ghost stories. John Crawford? You've got the wrong house! <laughs> My name is Detective Mann! I'm investigating a missing persons case. Guy claimed he was abducted by aliens. Does that sound familiar to you? Hey, aliens, why didn't you just say so? Come on, right this way, right this way, come on in. Come on in, come on. I, I thought you were MIB. <laughs> They've been trying to get in here for years. Right this way. In the article you said you saw the people that took you. Saw them? <laughs> Hell, I felt them. They got my kidney, you know. Right there, you see that scar? Yeah, come on. Oh, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> UFO sent you the charm for the boss. One of the missing bodies found out. Others, where is he? He went missing, I went. Ten years! They come every ten years, you know, they get three of them, and I was the second! They've already got.
gotten two of them. One more and there's no stopping them. 1985, three students missing. Light scene above Waterloo. 1975, three students go missing. A farmer reports. Green occurrences around his livestock. 19... Nothing. Slow down. 1995, the farmer's... Stop that down. Down. Slow down. What the fuck are you talking about? The truth, I saw it all. What happened that night? The night you were... Kidnapped. All right. All, all right. I was out with some friends. We were at a party. Someone said, had, had said, they saw lights outside. I, 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 I went out there. Then it happened. I was surrounded by them. They, they took me back to their ship. I was in some sort of dark, dark room. It was like an operating room. They tested me. They cut me up. But they couldn't kill me. I got away. How'd you get away if you were on a ship? I... I don't know. I just remember running and I blacked out. And I, I woke up on the seventh green of the Waterloo Regional Golf Course. The aliens, they, they got my kidney, but they couldn't get me! You don't... You don't believe me, do you? I saw them. I know what I saw. It... It just doesn't make any goddamn sense. Well, when there's no answers here, where else can we look? I just don't get it. Maybe we aren't alone. But my real problem with it all is if they're up there, then where the hell are you? Um, in recent news, another missing student reported in Waterloo today. Samantha Thomas, a second-year psychology student, was reported missing today when her parents came to take her home for the weekend and she was nowhere to be found. Reports say that Samantha had been at a party and um, she had said goodbye to her friends and actually uh, said she was going to be back earlier that night. Now, now Joanne, um, you said that you heard some things about this. Harvey Man, B.I. It's Janet. Is the toxicology report in? Yes. I'll fax it over right now. Janet? I'm gonna find Abel. Just fucking depressed.
Crenshaw's gone, but Fisher still needs three bodies. We're gonna prep the detective for surgery. You get on that set. chance. And I should have fucking shot you and I had mine. Go ahead. You'd be doing me a fucking favor. Fuck. You're lucky I still need you alive. <laughs> Sit tight, detective. You're a twisted fuck, Kane! Don't get me wrong here, man. Man, it's funny. It's strictly business. <laughs> business. <laughs> you think it's so funny, don't you? You think this place runs on donations? Kaggers, they're a fucking joke. Listen, in 1975, our founder, Donald Fisher, he was running the place pretty well, but guess what, it faced foreclosure. And you think the bank, you think the bank's gonna give a bunch of fucking frat kids a loan for a house? No! So we were forced to go to a loan shark. And needless to say, that debt still needs to be repaid. So you decided to saw open innocent people so you could continue slapping naked pledges in the ass for a few more years? It's much more than that! Fuck you! It's fucking much more than that! Then what the fuck is it? My brothers mean everything to me. Kai Zappa means everything to me. And it meant everything to Donald, too. 
That's why he had to do it. That's why I have to do it. To keep this place alive. The only place that are fucking accepted me. They're not your brothers, Kane. They're not your real family. It's all an illusion. Kai Zappelan is a fucking joke. You don't know shit. They don't care about you, Kane. Nobody cares about you. You're just a puppet on a string doing their bidding while they sit back and count their Shut fucking organ. The fuck up! Kill me! I want you to kill me! I'll fucking do it. You don't have the balls, punk. You're a coward. You'll always be a fucking coward! <laughs> Welcome back to uh, KXNY Radio, your home for rock in the 60s. What's new in the news today, Mickey? Well, Bill, you're not going to believe this, but Jane the Bear is a mom. Uh, wow, wow, again, I, I, I can't believe that. Ten years she's been at the zoo, and ten years a mom. So, uh, speaking of mom, are, are you going to hit up the zoo with the kids and, uh, and their mom this weekend, <laughs> Mickey? You know, I, I might just have to do that. In more serious news, a new development on the mysterious disappearance of Abel mm -hmm. Williams. Mm -hmm. Police are now saying that Harvey Mann, oh. a private investigator on the case, has disappeared as well. Now, although it's not clear if the two, two disappearances are connected, police chief John Art is expected to make a statement later today regarding the string of suspected kidnappings that have plagued the Waterloo region in recent days. Yeah, uh, very, very scary times we are living in, Mickey. Uh, you know, today marks the fourth disappearance uh, in, uh, you know, in a while, but... Uh... Yeah, for more on the story, we have Harvey Mann's ex-wife on 